Hi, Stu here talking bunions in under 90 seconds, I hope. So, a bunion is where the big toe joint starts to deviate to the side and you end up with a bony growth on the inside and top of the joint. There are three main factors of bunions. The, the first factor that we see is hereditary factors, so it's often passed down from the grandparents down to the parents down to the children. Yes, children do develop bunions. The second factor is footwear. This one's pretty simple. The higher the heel, the more pressure in the front, the more narrow and pointed the shoe, the, the more the toes get squashed sideways. The third factor is foot mechanics. Most people have feet that roll inwards, but those who continue to roll inwards off the inside of the big toe joint start to push the big toe sideways. You've got to remember, the other leg is in the air. All of the body weight is on that joint going sideways. So what you should never do if you've got onions is wear shoes that are heeled, pointed, narrow, on your Monday to Friday. Save them for the weekends. You're going to be better off. If you're buying sports shoes, avoid ones that have multiple layers of material and stitching right there. That will never give. If, if you wear orthotics and they're hard and they're rigid carbon fiber, plastic, whatever, the world's concrete, get rid of them. They're not gonna work. If you are gonna be buying sports shoes, what you need to be looking for is one that has one piece of soft material right there, plenty of give, plenty of stretch. If you are going to have orthotics, they should always bend and flex and they definitely need what's called a bunion splint. This splint pushes the pressure away from the first, thus slowing how, how fast they get, they get worse. Um, if you have any questions about anything I've said today, comment below. Someone will get back to you as soon as they can. I hope that's 90 seconds. Bye.